Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll be solving this problem called validating and parsing email addresses. So we're gonna play around with email addresses again. Here you can see a valid email address meets the following criteria. We have to fulfill some criteria. It is composed of the format username, domain name, and extension assembled in this format. You can see username at the rate domain dot extension, which we are already aware of. Username will start with an English alphabet character and any subsequent character consists of one or more of the following. Either alphanumeric character, dash, dot or underscore. So what it is saying is username has to start with an in English alphabet character. After that whatever character comes can be one or more of the following. It can be a next character could be alphanumeric character dash dot or underscore repeated one or more time right so that is what it is saying then a domain and extension contain only English alphabet alphabetical characters not alphanumeric here it is alphanumeric it is alphabetical here and the extension could be one two or three characters in length these are the criteria fulfilled by valid email addresses we will be given n pair of names and email addresses as input we have to print, print each name and email address pair having a valid email address on a new line so we will be given n number of names and uh, email address pair out of that we have to print only those email and names which are which are having valid email addresses according to this uh, conditions uh, email will be valid now here you have to use email dot utils to complete this challenge for example this code you can see here if you will import email dot utils that is library and you will print like this email dot utils dot parse address this is given as the input then it will what it will do it will print doshi and doshi at the rate hacker and dot com so separately it has uh, 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 printed in tuple form so this is one thing and this is another it was given in side square bracket or whatever bracket it is called i don't know <laughs> so these two guys are separated now Similarly, if you use email dot utils dot format address, the reverse of this means like if you will give this as the input, it will convert into this thing. Okay, so just the reverse of the whatever parse address did. Uh, so these are the uh, things we have to use it. Uh, now the input will be given in this fashion: the value of small n, denoting num uh, denoting number of email addresses. Each line i of the n subsequent lines contains name and email address as two space separated values so input will be given in this fashion right space separated and uh, we can use this guy uh, to change it into this uh, looking like this so we can access the name and email separately now here you can see n can be between 0 to 100 space separated name and email we have to print which are which are having only email valid email address each pair must be printed on a new line in the new format so this will be the new format and here you can see you must print each uh, line in the same order as it was received ordering has to be maintained here you can see this was the first email second email the first one is valid second one is not because uh, this is having first here colon and then here it is exclamatory mark which is not allowed according to the conditions here okay so dexter at the rate hotmail.com is valid address so we print the name and email uh, pair as we received as a re-input in the on our line, new line then this guy is not a valid email address because the email na user name contains an exclamatory mark and extension contain a colon as this email is not valid we are not printing so uh, 
let's do it so it's a regex problem you can see parsing and regex and plus there is some extra things we have to do which can play around with uh, email things so let's do it so let me import mm, let's not import first let me give you the feel of the input how the input is looking like so int input so first we have taken the value of n then uh, the the values of uh, the the email and names are given no so we can see we can use for n times this thing to convert into uh, so so that we can access the name and email separately so for underscore in range i can separate it out and then uh, the input but still i am showing so print like this and here we will keep input this is how it being given right input and remove this right now it doesn't know about the email dot util so import email dot utils okay now we can see huh. So you can see it has been separated. So if I'll do, uh, we have done, we have used this guy. So now if you you have the access of these emails now, if I'll do, let me let me save it to emails and instead of print, I'll do print. So I can access these guys, right? Print. emails 0 and 1 right so when i if i'll print i will get the email if i'll print 0 i'll get the name right so i'm getting the email here now we can check the emails by using regex let me comment this guy if same thing we'll do we'll uh, uh shall i do it separately let's do it separately i'll call it as em is equal to so i'm just checking re dot search inside that we'll write the pattern which has to be matched comma uh this guy email one right re is it is not knowing re so import re if email is true em is true then it will print in this fashion this right so like this but instead uh here it will have em and uh, no no you not email emls 1 and here it will be emls 0 so it will only print this if uh, it matches the uh the following the email matches the condition right so let's match it so let me use match from starting to ending instead of something new i'm trying so it has to start with something and it has to end with something right so from left to right it will go uh, one by one so search doesn't do that it starts it has to start and end with something so let's see what we have to do 
we have to first uh, give the username username can have english alphabetical characters so it could be small letter or uh, capital right a to z or a to z this is what it could be then next character can have one or more of alphanumeric character dash dot underscore now you can see alphanumeric character and underscore will come in uh, w a slash w so what i can do is i can put a bracket slash w that will cover alphanumeric and dot uh, sorry underscore now we have to take dot as well as dash so comma dash comma dot uh, this is what it will be or you can also write like this or or right and this can repeat one or more times this is or you can also use plus but i'm just giving you more context this will be there and then at the rate will come which is uh, this guy so i think we have done uh, with the username part so it is starting with alpha alpha numer alphabetical character so this is that and the next character can be anything so inside word you have a capital a to z small a to z and then underscore so these are alphanumeric and underscore dash and dot i have added here dash and then dot it could uh, appear one or more times then at the rate will come and then domain and extension english alphabetical characters only so here i'll write capital a to z capital z and a to z and this could uh, appear one or more time right this could appear one or more time so this is my what whole thing so this is domain similarly at last you have a dot for and then extension right that to the length could be 1 2 and 3 in length uh, whereas that is also alphabet so i'll do capital a to capital z a small a to small z its length could be 1 2 3 1 or 2 or 3 anything right so that is how uh, i think yeah, it is correct this should work email one so i hope you are getting the field so this guy is your username this is your uh, what uh, domain and a slash dot i am using because dot has its own meaning so uh, i am using a slash dot a dot here also we should be using slash dot right then comes the extension part and then end of the string right let's run it the test case is passed all the test cases are passed and we are done congratulations so it is also a simpler one you need uh, you can see uh, we had to use regex uh, so regex we have used so it is not new uh, just the new thing is using these guys okay using these guys so yeah uh, let's move on to the next problem now